So the boy Cobb, the homie Cobb, chaotic old boar, he suggested to me a ton of videos that have actually, believe it or not, brought a ton of you guys by my channel and introduced me to a ton of great music that uh, has genuinely inspired me. So I'm very excited when this man tells me Tim Minchin is somebody I need to be looking into. Now this song is called Prejudice. I've got no idea anything about it. I've never heard of the artist. I've never heard of the song. Um, so I'm pretty eager, again, just because this guy has not missed when he's uh, made a suggestion to me. Uh, I am going to get this thing started uh, before I hit the play button. Um, it's very important to me that you know that you are awesome, that you are valuable, that you are important, that you matter, and that you're deserving of love, and that I'm abundantly grateful for even a moment of your time. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button. It goes a long way to help me out. If you really like what you see, feel free to join us on Twitch so you can hang out with me and those wonderful people over there. They are the best. They, excuse me. They just want you to know that you matter. Guys, I have no idea what I'm about to walk into. Who is Tim Minchin? Let's find out. Some pretty gnarly makeup. This is a song about prejudice and the language of prejudice. It's a pretty heavy topic. And the power of the language of <laughs> prejudice. It's kind of a fly to the Concord vibe, Concord's vibes, it feels like right off the bangle because the way he like kind of did that. <laughs> It's called I love the ballad Prejudice 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 I love the ballad piano and the in the overemphasized delayed prejudice. In our modern free spoken society, there is a word that we still hold taboo. A word with a terrible history of being used to abuse, oppress and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will form a word with more power than the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. Uh, his, this is kind of like... <laughs> It seems heavy, but it also seems incredibly lighthearted. The piano is hilarious uh, because it is actually magnificently brilliant to this very juxtaposed character. Uh, and I, I don't know what's going on with his blouse, but like, it's kind of a hilarious look. In a way that will form a word with more power than the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. Swords. Cup of cheese, an R and an E, an I and an N. N, N, N. <laughs> Just six little letters all jumbled together have caused damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own. It doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. So I feel like we could all afford to take a take, you know, have what this guy's having. Just so you know, I think that's a very good thing for all of us to have what he's having. Never underestimate the power that language imparts. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can break hearts. You want to go ahead and say he sounds like uh, he sounds like Ian Anderson right now from uh, Jethro Tull and Rum Ham. What's up, homie? A couple of G's, G's, unless you've had to live it. An R and an E, even I am careful with it. The, the internet crashed in the middle of this reaction, so I'm flashing back to where we were. Here we go. Go. I am careful with it, and I and an N in the end, it will only offend. Don't wanna have to spell it out again. Ooh. His 
face makes me laugh. Yeah. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Oh man, that was a wonderful lyric. I, yo, hang on. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Is it just me, or, or, or is, is, the, is the word he's singing about, the real bad word, and the word ginger, those have the same letters, so that the, the, a couple of G's, uh, the E-R and the I-N could also spell ginger. Wow, what a genius. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. So listen to me if you care for your health. You won't call me ginger last you ginger yourself, yeah. Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Yep, when you are a ginger, life is pretty hard. The years of ritual bullying in the schoolyard. The kids call in your anger and fan of pants. No invitation to the high school dance, but you get up and learn to hold your head up. You try to keep your cool and not get head up. This is like a piano, like Flight of the Concords, but with just one guy, and it's kind of hilarious. Um, I'm also very happy that he, it's like, uh, you know, like it went the much more parody. Like I'm, I'm very happy. It's a lighthearted song. It's yeah, like a comedic Elton John. This is fantastic. Until the feeling of ill is truly let up, and the word is ours and ours alone. Don't you know? Ginger can call another ginger ginger. Let's also comment on his piano genius here. Like he's super, super good, and his presence is fantastic. And the blouse again is wonderful. If only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. So if you call us ginger, we just might come unhinged. If you don't have a fringe with at least a tinge of the ginger in it, only a ginger. Call another ginger ginger Now listen to me We're not looking for sympathy Just because we're sensitive to UV Just cause we're pathetically pale We do alright with the females Yeah, I like to ask the ladies round for ginger beer And soon they're running their fingers through my ginger beard <laughs> And dunking my ginger nuts into their ginger tea yeah. And asking can they call me ginger And I say I don't think that's a because only a ginger can call another ginger ginger yeah. And all the ladies, they agree it's a fact but Once you're gone, ginger, you can't go back Only a ginger Man, the, 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 wow Can call another ginger ginger Yeah, go ginger, go you funky motherfucking ginger Bozo or fire truck. Fire truck. Fire truck. You can even call us carrot top or blood nut. Blood nut. Blood nut. Yeah, you can call us matchstick or tampon. Tampon. <laughs> <laughs> But fucking with the G word is just not on If you're a ginger phobe and you don't like us We will stand up to the fight if you want to fight us But if you cut yourself, you might catch gingivitis So maybe you should shut your funky mouth Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger if you call a ginger, you can't whinge if you're injured If you don't have a tinge of the ginger in your minge Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger Yeah, and you know my kids will always be clothed and fed Cause Papa's gonna be bringing home the gingerbread And they'll be pretty smart because they'll be well read And by red I mean red and the other kind of red It's a homophone, only a ginger it's a homophobe. Can call another ginger ginger. Yeah, only a ginger. Can call another ginger ginger. Just like only a ninja can sneak up on another ninja. Yeah, only a ginger. Only a ginger. Only a ginger. Yeah. Are you listening? 
Sinatra. I'm not pointing the finger. I'm just having a singer. I am just reminding ya that only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Okay. Yep. That was fantastic. That was absolutely fucking awesome. That was hilarious. One, the, the, I mean, that one really slayed me. That one, that had a few friggin' mega, mega ones. I'm totally down for a, for a rabbit hole of comedic music because that was like, and again, as far as his virtuosity on the piano, that was fantastic. Cobb hitting it with the big banger there. That one was great. That one was wonderful. Yeah, I've never heard of uh, Tim Minchin before. This is going to be one I dig into because that was funny as fuck. Uh, he's like Ian Anderson gone comedy music uh, on a piano. It's fantastic. Guys, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the positivity show both to me and one another. Continue to be the best. And until I see you next, goodbye.